Hello my marvellous sausages, it's that time again, let's have a look at the more interesting armour rolls this week for the Titan Hunter and Warlock, and I'm starting a tradition right here, let's cue the shopping music. Now we're going to be using the old bungee page here, and what this does is it shows you any armour that's over 59 in total, or armour with any individual stash, stash, stat, <laughs> or thatch, steady on, that's greater than 26, right. Let's bugger off first of all and have a look with the Titan. So first step is that horny blighter Shax in the uh, tower. Now what we've got to look at here is the Cinderpinion Helm and it's got a recovery of 26 and an overall total of 59. So a nice start for the Titans there. Now the other role of interest is sheer with old split personality failsafe. She must have had Lucasaid poured into a grill at some point. And what we've got to look at here is the Exodus downplate. It comes in with a total of 60. We've got Highs of 15 in strength, 14 in mobility, but overall, a nice little chest piece there. Not too bad to get if you're starting out down the path of killings. Now that was it for Titans this week, so I've swapped over to my Hunter, and there's only one piece of any real interest, and it's for the Hunter this week, and it's the Phobos Warden Grasps, and we got to go and see old Commander Zavala for this. So let's have a look, where are the lacy gloves? Um, there they are, and what we've got here basically is a recovery again of 26, so recovery is second one to have that featured, a total of 55 as well. 25 legendary shards and a thousand glimmer for those babies. Now I've switched to my Warlock, there are five pieces of interest with the old Warlock, so we'll start off here in the tower, we'll go to Ada 1 first of all, and Please. what we have here are the robes, the uh, Thorium Holt robes, and it's got a resilience of plus 26, overall of 53, not so bad, resilience 26, so that's a nice juicy stat there. Now what we're going to do now is bugger off to see old Drifty Poos, and we'll talk to his beard and see what he's got for us, I thought we'd do the, uh, oh look! It's the Fallen and the Vending Machines again. They can't get it to work, but they don't know I've stuck chewing gum in the slot. I had a row from Zavala for it, and he kicked me up the ass. Anyway, here we go, uh, the Drifter here. Now then, let's have a look at what he's got for us. It's the Calamity Rig Cover, which means it's an helmet. And what we've got good about this is 26, again, in recovery, and a total of 59 overall. Not a bad helmet to go for. And the last vendor in the tower we need to go and see is old Shaxy Poos. Hello, Shax, Shax. Where's your horn? Hey, hey. Ah, oh, he doesn't. He hasn't any sense of humor at all. Anyway, it's the Cinder Pinion Gloves this time around. And what we've got here, it's got an overall of 57, but it's got a resilience of plus 26. Not too bad. Right, it's time to get in our electric spaceship and make our way to the EDZ to go and see old Devrim K. So here we are in the dark with Zdevrim K, and let's have a look and see what he's got for us. Now it's the helmet again this time with the uh, scaffolding on the front, and we've got an overall stat of 59. Not one standout stat, but 59, that's another decent, well, roll I suppose you could call it. Cheese, ham, I like using that joke, it's one of my favourites. Okay, that's him done, and his beard. There's loads of people with beards in this. Let's go to Nessus. So here we are on Nessus again. Let's go and have a look. Thank you very much. Approach. Sometimes that doesn't bloody work. I don't know why. Now let's have a look and see what Failsafe has got for us. It's the leg armor. And what we've got there is a recovery of 26. So there we go. Nothing bigger than 26 this week. Total of 57 as well. So it looks like actually the Titan has got the best piece with the armor. Chest armor from Failsafe here coming in at a total of 60. Right. Couple more things to have a look at. Let's go and check out Banshee weapons. Here we are at old Banshee with his metal forgetful head. Let's just check out first of all what we got. Well the masterwork problem has been solved this week so we can now masterwork these weapons as you can see here. We've got the toil and trouble. We've got a, what have we got here? We've got threat detector, that's not so bad. And outlaw, well, threat detector is useless really isn't it I suppose. And outlaw, precision kills greatly decrease reload time. Not very good on a shotgun but it's got a uh, range uh, masterwork which isn't too bad either. And a lot of people like this shotgun. I got two Hold off for slagging it off the other week. So there you go. Swings and roundabouts, eh? Let's go and do Lonesome. Let's have a look at this baby. Oh, nice masterwork and a range masterwork there. And we've got Kill Clip, which is pretty cool. And we've also got Grave Robber as well. Melee kills reload a portion of this weapon's magazine. I can't be asked the sidearms never have.
have. Pulse Rifle, last perdition. I actually quite like this Pulse Rifle, but I don't use it because it feels too vanilla. Uh, do you know what I mean? It's just like, I mean, it's quite cool looking though. I thought I might give it a whirl again. Anyway, Range Masterwork on that baby, and we've got Grave Robber, and we've got Rampage on that as well, which is quite nice to augment with the older Rampage weapon mod. We have the play, play, play. We have that corrector there. Uh, that's coming with Genesis and Elemental Capacitor, and it's got the handling masterwork on it too. We've got Ricochet rounds parked in there as well. Not so bad, I suppose. Not very, very shield orientated, wouldn't you say? Might be quite handy in the older Legend Lost sectors. Next, we've got Outrageous Fortune Grenade Launcher, which has got a blast radius masterwork on it, which is quite nice. Um, it's got snapshot sights. So quick to whip it out and then we've got genesis breaking the shields filled his magazines from reserve not a bad little roll at to be perfectly honest and then finally and i do like this one this uh, season the memory interdict uh <laughs> i just said dict which made me laugh uh we've got a handling masterwork on that baby we've got underdog gains a boost to reload speed as your health gets lower and then we've got unrelenting rapidly defeating targets triggers health regeneration guardians of powerful combatants counts as more than one kill so no standout real role there, but still not too bad. Uh, what have we got mods wise? We've got targeting adjuster and we've also got backup mag as well. And I thought this week, just to round off all the interest, we'd have a quick squint at what old Tess of the Durbervilles has got for sale in the oh, Eververse store. Oh, let's see what I'm going to get for my Eververse end grab. One, two, three, and... Oh, we've got a nothing gold ship. Um, I don't know. Well, it's buggered off. I won't be able to find out. Anyway, we've got our normal... We've got our Solstice Cobblers here, which isn't too bad, I suppose. Uh, now then, we've got that Pomegranate Gloss. I've already bought this earlier. That's actually on uh, on this on my Splicer uh, stuff there. But it's not so bad shader, actually. It's quite pretty. 300 Bright Dust that'll cost you. The uh, projections, I don't really need any projections. I've got my Indiana Jones one, and I'm never using anything else. 1,500 Bivalve. That's quite sweet, actually. Not too bad. Now, this is good. The Goister. <laughs> Good name, Everything too expensive, but look at that, it's excellent. I particularly love the Muppet Show eyes. Yes, that's marvellous. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got the Moat Juggle, which is quite pretty cool. That's quite interesting. I am completely skinters, though, on the older bright dust front uh you got your scavengers boon there which is for uh what's that planetary materials that's for glimmer this can be quite handy if you've got a surfeit of uh bright dust because uh, you'll get upgrade em upgrade emblems Upgrade modules for that baby. Let's go have a quick look at what we've got left here that we haven't seen. We've got a fishing emote, which I do like. And what I like about this is that it does pull up different things each time you pull the rod up. It can be like a cabal head, like that one is there. Or it can be, I think it could be a boot or something like that as well. So that's quite nifty if you've got the cash to get that. 3,250 bright dust. Oh, we've got the boy trap here. I don't know what that is, uh, but it's a uh, inflatable shark. So that's quite nice. It looks like it should be holding a beer, really. There we go. Oh, beer. Right, we've got the Aurum Pace. Uh, what have we got here? Mm. Mm, I don't know if I like that. It looks like uh, Davros's Sunday car from <laughs> Doctor Who. Uh, and then we've got a Summertide Kite. What's that? That's quite nice, actually, isn't it? Yes. Well, that's there. What was that one coming at? 2,000. Hmm. There we go. Future high five. Uh, yes, let's preview that again. Come on. Mm, yeah, well, let's see. You know, if you like that kind of thing. We've got an ornament for the stern, which makes it look like it's been put in a furnace and then pulled back out again. That's bloody marvellous. And what have we got? Your sandcastle effect. Oh. Transmad effects, you know, I can't be bothered with because they're on the screen so fast you barely notice them. Let's have a look at that one. Nightmare Emergence. Uh, do that again. That's not too bad, actually, but still it's too fast to notice. Shocking entrance. Cha ching uh, Beach ball one. And it's gone. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, we've got a few shaders again. So we've got Golden Age Wine. Where my uncle mm. finds it's okay, I suppose. It's actually quite nice because it's got the gold and the black. You might find that sits on a few pieces of armor very nicely. So that's probably worth getting if you haven't got it. Welded Brass. That's quite nice. Two, actually. It gives a nice purple glow look on my... Uh, 
uh, on my doodah there. And my helmet. That's quite nice. Yes, that's pretty cool. Uh, what have we got? Bruised blush. Let's have a look at bruised blush. That's very nice. I feel like a sort of chew it. Do you remember them? Chew it. Well, I'm sure they're still around, but who knows. And then finally, you've got vintage timber. That is another good one to go for, really, because it's got a nice set of colours in there. If you like your golds and your blacks and your greys and stuff. Yeah, not too bad at all. I don't like the, the glow doesn't do very good, but there we are. Can't have everything, can you? So there we go. That's all the goodies that they've got for sale this week and anything worth getting. Now, I've got a video out about uh, collecting the nine cat statues in the Dreaming City because you're going to get some nice uh, Dreaming City loot if you do that. Loot. It's not, uh, not the instrument, as in loot. But anyway, here it is on the screen if you want to go and collect the cats because I bet loads of you haven't done it yet. And I think the Dreaming City is going to start getting a bit more important as time goes on. Yes. Anyway, thank you so much for for watching and I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage Oot.